Hello everyone. Today I'll show calibration procedure of Keith 2002 multimeter and few caveats I found out during calibration. HP 3458A will be used as a transfer standard and source will be multifunction ACDC calibrator from Time Electronics model 9823. As a resistance standard I'll use ACI resistance decade model DB52. I already tested all the resistance values required for calibration and now I tested 100 kilo ohm. You can see calibrator is showing output error since it requires connection to current input terminals on DMM to source any current. So that is normal and can be reset after the connection is done. Here you can see 2 milliamps sourced into HP DMM. User calibration procedure for Kithley 2002 multimeters require 200 microamps, 2 milliamps, 20 milliamps, 200 milliamps, and 2 amps. Here you can see resistance values measured beforehand. And here the room temperature measured by Keithley 2510 with Honeywell Platinum Thermosensor. You can see an error because I attempted the calibration beforehand and had some issues with it. Later, I'll show you what the issue was. Now you can see I connected calibrator output to HP meter to measure 200 milliamps. So I'll just connect to input current jacks and set 200 microamp range. As you can see, HP 3458A have no problem to measure this low current. Now I'll connect current to Key 3DMM in current input and you will see what it will give you. I thought I'll just input the current value measured by HP meter and it will be ok. But and here we go, error 395. So to check what's the problem, I connected current output to another KC 2002 and we'll see what does it show. As you can see on 2 milliamp range, DMM shows just fine. But on lower range, 200 microamp, it just shows overflow, while it should be 200 microamps. If I set calibrator to output 100 microamps, it's fine, 10. So around 140, it stopped working. Mm, 
more precisely around 135. So I'll just adjust, yep, overflow. Now let's switch calibrator current range to 2 milliamps and see if the problems still exist. 100 microamp, 140, 150, 160, okay, around 160 microamps. Now same test with 20 milliamp current range on calibrator and 200 microamps output fine. So I will have to use 20 milliamp current range on the calibrator with reduced resolution to calibrate this tricky 200 microamp range. And just to make sure, I'll also check 2 milliamp range and it's working just fine. So, why is it so? Any comments and feedback? Please let me know in comments. For now I'll continue with calibration of all the higher ranges and we'll see how it goes. Here I will just speed up video, so we will not be waiting too long. After voltage and current calibration done, a meter will take a while to calibrate its AC performance based on DC constants. If we have few issues with current ranges, we get calibration failure. Once are not saved into EPRO and on the power cycle, calibration will be lost. Model 2002 allows also calibration of specific points. In this case, I'll just try 200 microamp again. And now using 2 milliamp range on calibrator, it calibrates just fine. I use my own four terminal shorting plug for short circuit calibration. This step takes about five minutes, so video is sped up. And now the money shot. We can check 10 volt output using all three meters together. Sorry for the mess with the wires. Also check on 2 volt and 20 volt output. Quick check with 10 kilo ohm resistance. I use just reduced accuracy to wire connection to DMM. Now our fresh calibrated meter, and it agrees to HP meter, pretty close. Let's see. Meter on the left is calibrated in 2007, so it's 
And now test with one mega ohm. How about 10 ohm resistance? That's it for now. Thank you for watching and you can find more metrology and calibration information on my website xdevs.com.